Hello everyone and welcome to this guitar tutorial for the song Come Over by Noah Kahan. So quick disclaimers, first we're going to be using a capo on the 2nd fret, which means that this is not going to be our 1st fret, 2nd fret, 3rd fret, and so on and so forth. And aside from that, I'm going to be teaching this to you guys as close and as accurate to its original audio as possible, as well as playing it as simple as possible, as if you're going to be playing this all by yourself with your acoustic or electric guitar. And with that said, let's go straight right into it. Okay, so for the chords that we're going to use for this song, it's going to be these ones right here. First up is going to be the D major chord. It's going to be like this. For this one, we're going to be using our thumb to mute the lower E string and the A string, creating this dead sound right here. Just letting your thumb rest there, not pressing on it to create this dead sound. Yep. For the rest of the chord shape, it's going to be an open string, two, three, then two. Next up is going to be the A major chord, it's going to be like this. Once again, using your thumb to let it rest there in the lower E string, creating this dead sound. And as for the rest of the chord shape, it's going to be an open string, 2, 2, 2, then open. Next up is going to be the G major chord, it's going to be like this. That's going to be 3, 2, open, open, 3, then 3. Then lastly, it's going to be the B minor chord, it's going to be like this. That's going to be using your index finger to bar the second fret from the A string down to the high E string. And as for the rest of the chord shape, it's going to be another dead string in the lower E string. This time using your index finger, extending it just a little bit so that it rests there, not pressing on it, to create this dead sound. And as for the rest of the chord shape, it's going to be 2, 4, 4, 3, then 2. Yep, so all in all, we've got the D major chord, A major chord. G major chord, then the B minor chord. Okay, and as for the strumming pattern that we're going to use for this song, it's going to be this one right here. Yep, so it's going to be like this. Yep, just like that. So if you prefer using your fingers, I recommend using this part of your index finger for the down strums and using this part of your thumb for the up strums. Down, 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 down. But if you prefer using your pick, it's going to be more straightforward than that as you're just going to be doing downward motions for the down strums and upward motions for the up strums. Yep, once again, down, down, down. And with that said, that entire strumming pattern is going to be worth for three whole counts for each chord that you're going to be playing in this song. Okay, so for the verses as well as the second chorus section of this song, the chord progression is going to be this one right here. So once again, the major chord for six count, which means that we're going to be doing our strumming pattern twice. So it goes. That's going to be the A major chord for six counts. Then it's going to be the G major chord for 12 counts, which means that we're going to be doing our strumming pattern four times. So here it goes. Three, four, four. Yep, then after that, we're going to be doing this entire chord progression three more times. So once again, D major chord. Just like that. And once you find that you figured that out, it's going to sound a little bit like this. Thank you. 
Okay, and as for the first chorus as well as the outro section of this song, the chord progression is going to be this one right here. Once again, similar to the prior chord progression that, that I taught you guys earlier, instead of repeating it four times, we're only going to be doing it twice now this time. So once again, D major chord for six counts. Just like that. Once you finally figured that out, it's going to sound a little bit like this. Come over. Okay, so lastly for the bridge section of this song, chord progression is going to be this one right here. So once again, it's going to be the D major chord for six counts. After that, it's going to be the B minor chord now this time for 6 count. It's going to be this one right here. Then once you finally figured that out, it's going to sound a little bit like this. So yeah, this is the end of the guitar tutorial. Thank you guys for watching this point of the video. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed it so that'll know. And please once again do not forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell down below so that you guys will be able to stay updated for your future videos. So if you guys would like me to teach you anything else, just comment it down below as well. And I'll try to do it for you. And you will also be able to show your support by sending a super thanks my way down below as well. I'd really appreciate that. And yeah, so if you guys would like to watch my other guitar tutorials, just click these ones right here. So good, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.